Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to Let's Play Doom 2016. I just got back from TI-8. It was a great time, but I may have gotten sick uh, at the in the in the what three days that I was there. Plus the entire day I was just between the Vancouver and Toronto airports. Three hours in customs in fucking Toronto. Uh, I may have gotten a little bit sick. Might have the T-itis. So, if I'm a bit scratchy, or if I just cannot handle talking for a bit, uh, there you go. But to recap, when we last left off, I'm just taking note of the rune portal down there. Uh, when last we left off, we were in Cattinger Sanctum after Olivia Pierce opened a portal on Mars to hell and threw us through it. We found a beacon that has allowed us to come back uh, to Mars and now we're after Olivia. Can we get... No, that's not quite what I want. Looking for this. The siege mode upgrade. Do we need five or s ah, it's six before we can get the final upgrade? The mastery upgrade. Olivia has an artifact in her private lab that we've been studying for years. I believe you can use it to find the answers you seek. It bears your mark. Olivia's personal laboratory is not part of the registered facilities database. Alpha level clearance will be required to locate it. Granted. You can access her Lazarus facility from the north sector of the Advanced Research Complex, about 80 kilometers away. I'll bring the tram power online to take you there, but you'll need a UAC Corporate Facilities Clearance Card to activate it. There is a security station nearby. Uh, so we are now going to go on a whole wild goose chase for a key card, uh, as is the case so often in Doom. We need the key card in order to get the tram online. Which, to be honest, I feel like Doom guy should just be like, "Nah, I'm good," and book it for 80 whole kilometers. <laughs> just run run towards the nearest living thing and kill it and then repeat for 80 kilometers <laughs> uh, so there is a weapon mask damn it there is a uh, a weapon challenge in this level to kill one of the revenants while they're in midair it's not too difficult you just have to catch them at the right time and not rush them down too hard I guess the hardest part about that is not uh, going to aggro, not overkilling them. Oh, and then once we get one extra weapon upgrade, we can put the uh, next point into uh, into the siege mode railgun, which gives it an area of effect. And then once we uh, multi-kill ten times with the railgun's AOE. We get the mastery upgrade for it, which allows us to move around while in siege mode. Uh, we also will hopefully be getting the mastery upgrade for the super shoddy on this episode. Uh, we will have plenty of possess to kill with it. Again, it's another multi-kill one like that. Uh, and we're 24 out of 30, so... Ah, that's a bummer. But that didn't work out. Uh, but we should be able to do that six more times before the level's over. Oh, I just want you to take off to the air. Come on, friend. Okay, whatever. We'll get this eventually. We will do it. And the Argent facility here is a little bit worse for wear compared to how we saw it when we left Mars. That portal kind of tore the whole place asunder. Oh, uh, there is still one more cockademon. And now there's not. 
Oh, siege mode is so good. And we'll get a field drone in this episode, in this level. Um, which will also unlock the precision bolt for us. This is the same arena that we did, uh... I can't remember the name of the challenge, the mobility one before. Now it's just gonna be all about, uh, collecting the D20s. Every time we get one, it will add a second to the timer. The timer's not really that... Oh, it might actually become a problem. Because we have to backtrack for that one that we accidentally just missed. This is otherwise, aside from silly mistakes, a really, really easy one. Uh, the second and final rune challenge that we have at the end of the level will prove to be a little bit more difficult. But first, let's... Yeah, we unlock the third slot. Let's definitely put that on. Uh, I think this is one of the most important runes in the whole game. Uh, this allows us to gain a modicum of air control. You you can control yourself in midair just a tiny little bit normally, but now we have a lot of control. And once we get the mastery upgrade for that rune, uh, we will have even more control over our single and double jumps. And look at this returning boy. Ah, uh, this is Pinky. And we will fight a lot of these in this level and from here on out. Uh, Pinkies like to charge you head first, uh, and they will do a boatload of damage. And the other thing to note about Pink- God, that's one of the best glory kills! Such a good one. The other thing to note about Pinkies... Uh, is that their front is heavily armored, but you can see their back is a lot more fleshy and pink. And because they charge you, they tend to get stunned a little bit when they run into walls. Uh, which opens up their backs. So you can dispatch them really, really quickly from behind. Uh, from the front, they will absorb an enormous amount of your ammo. And you can always tell when an enemy is uh, resistant from whatever angle you're trying to hit them from because uh, there will be like little purple hit sparks. The purple hit sparks indicate that you are doing reduced damage. Now does this... Oh, it does last long enough, but we still have this other pinky. Come on now. They're a little bit harder to just straight up a uh, circle strafe, unlike the shield guys, where you can just jump behind them and they take a little bit to turn. Oh, hi, Imp. Yeah, this quad damage lets you snipe with the super shotgun. <laughs> uh, I would love for there to be an actual beefy enemy to kill with this. Ah, Revenants are beefy enough. I always think that they're way tankier, way spongier than they actually look. They will take a licking and keep ticking. Now fly out. There you- Damn it! I'm weakening them just a little bit too much or too little. Because that's two shotgun blasts to the body and then from a distance what's putting them in the stagger state is that railgun hit to the body. Have to find just the right balance. A headshot would probably do it, so I should be more careful and considered with that shot. Uh, you, let's kind of get you two over next to each other. Good. We're 26 at 30. This should be 27. Ow. It's never fun to get smacked by a possessed. Oh, hi. Hi, Mark. Should have some spawns across the bridge at some point in this fight. Hello? Probably work on the micro-missile upgrades, too, after we're done with Siege Mode and Precision Bolt. Actually, you know what? We haven't gotten to really see the chain gun enough. 
uh, because we haven't put anything into it. So after Precision Bolt, I'll get a mod for the chain gun. Hello? It would actually have been really nice if uh, the Revenant flew up into the air while I was in siege mode. Oh, nope, not this. This is fine. <laughs> this is when Doom is at its best, when you have a huge arsenal, when you have all these mods, and you're just one, two, three, going, cycling between everything. Oh, it feels fantastic. They put so much work into the guns. That's really nice. We can get that Siege Mold bolt off before the other pinky charges us. And if you are dead on point blank, uh, you will stagger them with one hit with the Super Shoddy. And then the Mancubi on the bridge, not really a threat. Sorry, the Mancubus. Outside the base is prohibited. Highly volatile experiments and artifacts are currently being researched at a safe distance. Demon breach detected. So the drone's gonna fly off somewhere in this arena. Uh, I know that in the speed run there is a way to get that drone without him flying away, but I'm not sure how. You have to exploit his AI a little bit. Just jump behind him. And who do we have up here? Hellraiser? Yep. Add. Uh, and you can tell this arena is going to be for real. Because they give you a mega health just out in the open. This is not a secret mega health. So this is going to be a real fight. Uh, plus the arena is really constricted. It's just a couple of narrow catwalks. So, maneuverability is gonna be a little bit tricky here. Let's actually swap this out, because, uh, let's see how the shrapnel upgrade does against the pinkies. Well, I guess it's not quite what I was looking for, but if you can get the shrapnel to detonate uh, behind the pinkies while they're still in front of you, maybe charging you, it should be real good. We'll be good with this. If I hadn't switched there, he was definitely going to fire at me before I had time to close the distance with the shoddy. It's just... Ah, oh, the real gun is just so good feeling. It's such a remarkable weapon to fire. And now we should still have... Oh, God, through the smoke! Yeah, we have a Baron of Hell now. This is one of those rare instances where there are not two of them. <gasps> Holy shit, that was easy. Easier than I expected. Not bad. Not too bad at all. Okay, now, uh, there's still something else that we have to find. Uh, the pinky dragged the guy with the keycard through that door. Uh, we know this now, so we'll come back for that in a moment. But there's a way to make that platform there in the middle of the arena. Oop, don't want to fall into that. There's a way to move this. Uh, you can see it's the, the crates being hoisted by a crane. So there's a panel somewhere around here that will move that around. Either of these two? Nope. Not this. Oh, I see it. Good. So we very patiently wait uh, for the crate, or whatever that is, to be in position so we can jump up to this catwalk. And we find the field drone. And we get our precision bolt! Hell yes! Ooh! Uh, now, unfortunately, we are gonna immediately swap back to siege mode because I now have enough weapon points to get that second upgrade for the AoE, the outer beam. Which means we could start racking up kills for the mastery unlock. 
Oh, uh, we don't have quite enough after that to further upgrade the micro missiles and get the uh, no cooldown mastery upgrade for that. Hello there. Oh, hi. Hi to everybody. That's ah, only two of them. So I will not count towards the mastery upgrade. Look at this. Uh, this is the hologram grenade. You can switch between grenades with F1. We have our normal grenade that we have not used since we got it in the very first level. Because I always forget they exist. Now we have this hologram which acts as a decoy. Uh, it's useful. But not useful enough that I will remember to avail myself of it. Uh, it's it, it can be really good against the pinkies, specifically. This is a fun challenge because we only have one health. There are a couple of armor chips around the arena. Uh, and we only have the combat shotgun and the burst fire for it. So imps, especially in this tight environment with a lot of corners, a lot of stuff to watch out for, become pretty scary. As does this uh, Hell Knight. But what we get for doing this is uh, a rune that causes glory kills to also drop armor for us now. Damn. Let's try to just... Ah, oh, I missed time to jump. Uh, okay. It's not too bad. Probably gonna wait until we have upgraded the other runes first before I start swapping things around. Uh, plus, we don't actually need it on right now. Actually, pretty good to go. That's the rune trial that we saw from above at the beginning of the level, by the way. In fact, we still need to find Argen cells to actually start upgrading our health and armor, since we put everything into ammo at this point. But we're still good with the uh, mega health and the mega armor we picked up earlier. So we'll get at least one extra cell by the end of this. Is there anything I missed up here, aside from the drone? Oh, that's right. Uh, I think I turn left or right coming out of here. Yeah, I turn left to get to the room portal, but I never went back to the right. Uh, which is where I need to go to progress. We're gonna jump our way onto this, even though it looks a little bit dicey, whether or not that's a ledge or that's geometry you can you can hop on. But it is, in fact, where they hide this Argen Energy cell. Uh, I think I'll put this one towards armor. I'll probably just level those up evenly. Or maybe it... Mm, I guess it depends on where I'm at with the Mega Health uh, by the time I get the next cell. Oh man! On two of them. Can't find a third. You're more behind. Oh, but the Hell Knight's jumping around and killing all the weak possessed. That's no good. I love that metal scream that roars out once you uh, rip the heart out of the Gornest to start the uh, the challenge. Yeah, I don't think we're making a pro Oh, he killed the possessed for me. Just latching out. Ah, that always happens. Flipped into the ship in the middle here. Just a little bit. Th 
the uh, the outer beam upgrade that turns it into like a swirling vortex of lightning. Just makes it feel all the better. Oh, this poor Mancubus. As soon as he spawned into light, there was already a rocket right on top of him. Poor baby. Poor, poor baby. Oh, hi. Yeah. Jesus, just flew apart. What a poor baby. Oh, this poor baby, too. And we'll just put his mouth, his mouth back on the man. You cannot send a team in to retrieve it. I am the head of this corporation. All your work and discoveries here belong to me. He was mine before you even found him. Access granted. Talking about the discovery of the Doom Guy. The Doom Slayer. In that sealed sarcophagus. Oh, we can't crouch under that. The exclusion zones. Hey, this is the way we're going. Ha, here we go. And now that we have that, we can open our way to the tram. Things have gotten real bad around here. Oh, I would really, really like to hit this position. Yes! Now check this out. We can fire twice before, before having to reload. Mmm! Super shotgun just got so much better. It got more fun to use and it got much stronger. Please be seated. The tram is now ready to depart. The UAC's Advanced Research Complex will be our final destination. Bum 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 bum. Alright, that's gonna do it for now. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and all that good stuff.